So John's been dealing with a number of issues here of, of kind of groin and, and uh, perineal pain, which we've settled down with some of the blocks we've done. Today we're doing what's called a ganglion impart block, which is basically to get some more kind of set of steroids and kind of toxins to try to settle toxicheal pain down. So we go south of the serum a little bit. Actually, I'm going to angle it so it'll be different. there. So today we're doing what's called a ganglion impart block where we're putting some local anesthetic and steroids right in front of his coccyx to try to settle down his coccyx pain. So. But he was just telling me he's uh, flying he's a commercial airline pilot and flies between here in Cancun a lot. So I just current pilot. So. Alright, a little wet and cold maybe here. Okay, here we go before I do it. You know my MO in here. Mm -hmm. I haven't been flying much recently because of the weather. I'm kind of in time to I've had park my plane. Trevor's been out there, I think. Did you hear about that Cirrus that just deployed the, the parachute over Bellevue? No. Uh, there was a Cirrus that, that pulled their caps and you know, drifted down into some neighborhood in Bellevue. Um, a week or two ago, um, Trevor had taken off right before them. They flew a plane out of Brenton. Trevor had taken off right before them. All right, little pinch on the right side here. Right like that. There's my nose and there. Okay. Right there. You're not a wuss, this is not the most comfortable thing you've ever put. Almost there. Tracking nicely there. We're going to put in our extra diving. We put in hook one second steroids here. It's going to ache a bit. Feel pretty familiar there? Say again? Does that feel familiar where I'm putting the medicine here? Yep. Good. Okay, Neil's out. We're done on that side. Do the same thing on the other side. More sensitive on the left side? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here is the screen for that. You're 
this here. This won't hurt me a bit. Up on the entry. Oh, oh, got it. Okay. Here comes a little kind of side of stairs on the left side there. Does that feel familiar there? Yep. The wincing like it does, so. It's the fear of the unknown. All right, we're all done. Thank you. For the too badly there. Oh no, I uh, apologize for being a lamp. What's that? I said I apologize for being a lamp. I got a lamp The most, I mean, the most common people we see with cotch steel injuries are actually women who have their uh, get cotch steel fractures from childbirth, and they can be. In, we've seen these patients have been in pain for years and they come in and we do one of these blocks and they get off the table for the first time you know, with no pain for years they just are so astounded at how well these can work so. well you know i had the pain down through you know like uh left part of the rectum and now left tip of the penis and i yep. right now it feels uh you know that euphoria mm -hmm. you get after like you hit your Find your finger in the door or something, or and then it means going away. Right. That's what it feels That's like right now. Yeah. All right, why don't you stand up? You mean since I did the block here? Yes. Yeah, good. So that feels better. Come right away. Yes. All right. Um, I'm struggling with like a tool of youth that has that pyrogenous cyst right. right there. Yeah. So well, that may be part of why you have the pain down there, too. It, it could be left over. I mean, that was years ago, but it, yeah. there's tissue there now, and it hurts there, like on that night. That's where I'm waking up. Right. That how does that feel now? Is the pain totally gone right now? Almost 100%. So pretty much gone. Yes. We'll put I mean, it, we'll give you, a, it's pretty much gone on the pain diary here. It's about 115. Oh, you want to sit down. That's usually the test right there, right? Yeah, I mean, I have a, it's irritated right here, but, but I think that's going to take forever. So let's get you back with me in a couple weeks for a post procedure check and uh, okay. see how you're doing. Question then, if mm -hmm. this works, mm -hmm. how long do these typically last for? Uh, you know, it's there's, it's it's unpredictable. Um, I see patients who get, I mean, I see patients who like come in once a year for this, and which would be a great outcome. Yes. Um, you know, I've got patients who come in every two or four months, and you know, some patients doesn't work at all. There's no way to predict that. I, I know, I get it. But I think, you know, given given the fact you're getting off the table with substantial relief, I'd be surprised if you don't get prolonged relief. From okay. Day, so. I'd be just super happy. Uh, <laughs> I really appreciate all your help. Yeah. That's great. Well. He was referred to me by another pilot friend of mine. We're both, but uh, I'm not a commercial airline pilot. I'm just a private, just a little lowly yeah. private pilot who gets in his <laughs> way. But a uh, mutual friend of ours who's, a, who's also a pilot that referred John to us. And uh, hopefully we've been able to help you. I think so. so it's been fantastic. Good. All right. There. So I'll see you in a couple weeks. Okay. Post -procedure check. Um, if, you know, if it's inconvenient for you to come in the office, we can also do that via telehealth. I would love to do a telehealth. So let's do a telehealth post-procedure check. It's an hour and a half. Okay.